And we're back to Mass Effect 3. Dark and Ran trying to negotiate probably the most tenuous alliance in the entire series. It's a fun understatement, but yes. Turians and Krogan. Mm -hmm. Right now, they both seem to have a problem, so let's figure out what the hell their problem is. Yep. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. <laughs> uh, you said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get That's on the ship. You remember what Rachni are? Mm-hmm. All right. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. Back on Sir Cash, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. Then talk about it some more. <laughs> Women have good ideas, Rex. You should listen. Yeah, but they have so many of them. So sometimes <laughs> I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers, too. <laughs> <laughs> you, sh you should listen to them sometimes. Yeah, but they got so many. That sounds uh, a lot like human. I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take to Chunka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers. Most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. And Shepard, I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but it's progress. <laughs> Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? Fair <laughs> enough, I guess. Commander, you said one of your ships had gone missing. Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Chuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. You being sus. Mm -hmm. Hello, sus. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help and understanding. Your men that crashed on Tachunka. How many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. Well, 
That's all. That makes it interesting. Of course, Commander. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, actually, can we use the Well, I'm sure that's gonna get his support. <laughs> Probably. No, can't use the Vidcom. Oh well. So, let's go downstairs. Talk to Morden. Yeah. I don't think having these guys in the same room is a good idea, but okay. Minor details. Yeah, I'll deal with it later. We always have new messages. Pretty much. I can't imagine anything so traumatic. You sure you're okay, Karen? I wouldn't wish a collector abduction on my worst enemy. But it's behind me now. I'm fine. But it makes me think. Oh, uh, yeah, she was there. Mm hmm. What are the Reapers doing to the people who live on all those worlds? As we sit here. Enjoying our coffee. How many souls are in agony this very moment? Millions? Billions? A lot. A lot. I lied. I'm not fine. Everything okay in the med bay? Yes. Morden would just like some space to work with E. He kicked you out? Oh no. I just felt I was getting in his way. I'll return when I need. Fair enough. Yeah. Hello, Commander. Good talk. Mm hmm Very interesting. Quite a deep topic. Quite. Indeed. Alright. See if Liara's got anything to say or got any new intel for us. So, Liara, still relying on the Protheans for all the answers? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard? Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact that it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. That's such good fun. A Prothean. Yep. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean Shepherd? There's so much he could tell us. Please, if he starts opening up, tell me. <clears throat> Monitor Vidblog, Conspiracy Accountability League. Task Force Aurora. I've uncovered documentation that points to the fact that scientist and infamous oddity hunter Dr. Garrett Bryson <laughs> is running a super secret task force on the Reapers for the Alliance. And they are not telling us about it. Why is it a secret? I hereby challenge the Alliance and Admiral Hackett to come clean and tell us exactly what exactly they are investigating with Task Force Aurora. Apparently, people as high up as Admiral Hackett himself are involved. His involvement is a huge red flag that Task Force Aurora involves something like the Reapers. Probably something that could save you and your family. The Alliance strongly denies the existence of Task Force Aurora. But I, with my years of experience, would expect nothing less. I've tried to contact Admiral Hackett myself, but he won't return my calls. Why not? Is it because he's hiding something? I'm sure that he feels safe on his space station home as we all sit by and watch our friends and families get juiced by the Reapers. But I don't, and neither should you. We need to demand accountability. I encourage you to write or send a vid to Admiral Hackett and the Citadel Council demanding them to come clean and tell us what they know. You know, the whole point of secrets is to keep it away from the enemy. Yeah, that's uh I'm pretty sure this is I'm pretty yeah, this is from Hanar. Most incandescent one. At your behest, this one has analyzed our current civil disorder. A schism has fallen with regard to the collectors. As a remnant of the enkindlers, there is genuine confusion about their place in the Manas tradition. Do they represent a swifter current to ride towards enlightenment? Are they a heretical typhoon of ignorance? Were the reapers responsible for enkindling the enkindlers? This one has heard these queries and more. Discussion on these topics have led to uncharacteristic outbursts of improper behavior, 
with crude language and even spurts of violence noted. On the fanatical fringe, this one has reports of coli zealots contacting the collectors, worshipping them, and even sacrificing their colonies to the reapers. This one believes that this theocentric maelstrom must end before the sect of coli weakens us further. It is clear to sane souls that the collectors are nothing more than recreants serving machine gods. They extinguish rather than kindle, yet the people have a crisis of faith and yearn for edifying answers from an illustrious source. At least not all the hand are big, stupid jellyfish. Yeah. Some of them are, some of them are smart jellyfish. <laughs> Correspond between Liara and Miranda. Hmm. I was unable to find any wor- anything concerning the whereabouts of your sister. Whoever has her is doing a remarkably good job of keeping her hidden from the broker's network. My network of agents is currently stretched thin at the moment, but I'll alert you if I discover any inf- new information regarding Oriana. Well, at least we at least we know she's looking. Yeah. Oh boy, more Prothean notes. <clears throat> I'm not sure what to make of Javik. I approached him while we were traveling to a different system, but he wasn't very inclined to talk. What little he does say concerns the Reapers and our possible failure. Is he simply a soldier mourning his people, or is it a fundamental difference in our cultures? Why not both? Yeah, <clears throat> it could very well be both. And from a Professor Tiksha to Dr. Odul, I have no idea who these are. <clears throat> Tiksha. I was calling every supply depot stationed around the Crucible to find enough pure platinum for Crucible's primary trigger inlay. We barely have enough left to coat a coffee maker. An hour later, a ship pulled up with 16 tons of platinum, courtesy of the Shadow Broker. <laughs> then it flew away to scavenge more material for the project. The ship's captain emailed me later, saying the broker would stay in touch with our needs. That's great, but I'm checking my computer for bugs. <laughs> he didn't check very well, apparently. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. What oh, cares? You got anything to say, buddy? No. Shepard. Have we talked about that yet? So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. And if he did try, well, we'll just find another prime. <laughs> maybe you! <laughs> I noticed General saluting you, Pyrrhus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. <laughs> Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. <laughs> it's all for now, Garrus. Anytime. <laughs> Garrus, is ge- Garrus knows what he's about. I'll put a yep. bullet between anything between the eyes of anything you ask me to. Just don't ask me to be in charge. Aware of Krogan yep. people's fine scars, attractive. Garrus I mean, the lead the current primer, primer was a, like also a lot more about yeah. the but... third time, Doctor. I'm not interested. <laughs> ah, Shepard. We were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's released my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. <laughs> Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. <laughs> He's not looking forward to it. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or solarian doctors. 
<laughs> now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. <laughs> uh, that's great. Maybe with an individual. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. What are you talking about? Method to extract functional cure without killing you. I'm done. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. And you have to do it out loud? Yes. Auditory gun guns. Need to hear yourself think. Simulate conversation to promote new ideas. Maximize productivity. But you're talking about me dying. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patients. No, it just means I can't sleep. <coughs> keep you alive. We'll avoid sensitive subjects. Morden hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tashanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. What is that? Sorry, none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not <coughs> a typical Salarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry watch your offspring have an allergy to dairy and a <laughs> Well, it wasn't his ear. <laughs> Yep. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath. That's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they've become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. Hmm. Interesting. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Kogan. <laughs> but I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would yeah. the clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. 
They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that, you can tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. Yeah. You didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? Yeah, but enough. You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. Hmm. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. All right, Morden. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect, health trouble. You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. So, we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachunka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. So, the end justifies the means? Not my means. But you're using the data. Encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure Genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now, if possible. Unless he could help. Hmm. Better know. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. <laughs> you care about her? My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. You always defended your genophage. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong? Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. Nice talking with you, Borden. Thank you. Glad enough. Glad to be back. 
You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. <laughs> Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> oh, yeah. he, he's just a gift that keeps giving. Yeah. Oh, he's so nice. I wonder if he's a romance level option at some point. Uh, I don't think so, but he does have opinions on on different romance options in, uh, at least in the second game. Fair enough. Considering I'm almost always romancing uh, the human op or Asari options, he doesn't really have much to say about those. Oh, you know, why didn't? Well, I've don't I've never actually romanced Tali before, so. Huh. You know. Primarch's got some real this this time. Well, we need are more politicians like him, taking names and kicking ass. Fair enough. I wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sarkesh. I hear we're headed to Tachanka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. Rex hmm. is a badass. I bet he's got some real interesting stories to tell. I guess we can bring him along into Tachanka. His mouth moves faster than a frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. He's <laughs> <laughs> got quite the... But kind of hot. If you like that sort of thing. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. hey. Okay, he's out of stuff to say. And we've he's got some interesting opinions. What's the word? I was gonna say comparisons, like I mean, descriptions. Yeah, that 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 too. <laughs> Frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. Yeah. Hey, just an opinion piece. If you don't like it? Don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. It was on a little thing called the news. Someone's gonna take you seriously. The Asari Republic's vote on stuff like this. We'd all save every world if we could, but we can't. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Oh boy. That's a difficult one. I usually side with Diane over this, because as she, as she said, it's an opinion piece. Yeah, and also, like she said, as terrifying as it is. One for five. Mm-hmm. Stand down, Yeoman. She's allowed to voice her opinion until I disallow it. Aye, aye, Commander. But how does she get to say whatever she wants to the whole galaxy and there's no other side? I'll be clear that the opinion expressed is just my own. Well... Okay. It's not great, but okay. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, this is a nightmare of a war. It's gonna be unpleasant for everyone. Yeah. You're saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones he encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. Finally talking, huh? A little. Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far they have come. <laughs> the morning Salarian asked if he could dissect me. I approved. But only if he could <laughs> Wait. His reply was... So he didn't say impossible. <laughs> just problem. Probably just preparing for it. <laughs> I do not understand why your own kind would oppose you. They will bleed the same as everyone if the reapers are not stopped. Direct, yes. Oh fuck. Oh well. Something about Rex. That's all I got. Yeah, so I'm sad I missed it, but no oh, well. No. Kenneth, do you ever think about when you were abducted by... No, I don't. 
Me neither. Just no. Commander? Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. All good, Commander. No, eh, nothing interesting. You're okay. At least I, well, at least I tell one then. No, I don't. <laughs> no. Never. Commander, nice to see you again. Anything from you? How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the war summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. <laughs> Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie. Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade <laughs> now. The algorithm will reduce long range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of the shoebox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. Yep. All right, what's our oh boy? <coughs> Even more of it. Edie, the word Antolin. Shepard, after scanning through t a lot of files, I managed to locate redacted data in relation to the word Antolin and its usage. Antolin is a star system in a Solarian occupied space. It is a little known and appears to have minimal strategic value. We do not have a minimal. We do not have its precise location. And it's as it's been removed from the Citadel's databanks, but there is additional information regarding the system. After scanning my databanks, I found news articles written by the now defunct Cerberus Daily News Network. These revealed that a first contact scenario played out in Antolin with an AI who acted as the guardian of an alien species or alien space arc. The vessel was occupied by a digitized species trapped inside a virtual world who the media dubbed virtual aliens. CDN was never at the forefront of journalistic integrity. But there are corroborating conspiracy theories that date back at, to the time when the story was first published. These theories rarely feel linked to reality and are often a product of an overactive active imaginations or symptoms of mental instability. Yet it is telling that there appears to have been a systematic cover-up of anything to do with this event across the extranet. This would indicate that there could be some truth to conspiracy theories surrounding the system and these virtual aliens. If you wish to know more, I will forward the relevant news articles to Liar's Terminal. Sure. That sounds useful. Also, a uh, reference there. Cerberus Daily News Network was basically like, I think like a Twitter thing or something around Mass Effect 2. Huh. And things such as the virtual aliens were things that popped up on it. Interesting. Yep. <coughs> From Major Kirahe, holding the line. Commander, it was a pleasure seeing you again on Sarkesh, even if the circumstances were less than ideal. It seems fate has decided our meetings coincide with galactic threats. So be it. To that end, I wanted to reiterate that STG will be there to help when the need arises, regardless of the political climate. You are there for us in our hour of need. We look forward to returning the favor. Cool. Nice. <coughs> From Farron. It's been a while. I'm glad to hear you made it off Earth and that Liara is with you. Getting off her old ship was the best thing we could have done. Can't tell you how sick I was of that cabin. And are tripping over the drone. I don't even know how it kept finding me in a ship that big, even after I turned off its tracking. I dug up some inf interesting information for you. Talk with Glyph to sort out the data. I hope it helps, Shepard. It's getting rough out there. Yeah, no shit is getting rough. Reapers having a tough time on Earth. <clears throat> Good news today in the fight against the Reapers as human forces fight back in Los Angeles. A small force of resistance fighters recently penetrated a Reaper processing facility and destroyed the complex with, a, with M920 canes, freeing many captives and eliminating a significant number of enemy forces. We know that weapon! <laughs> Just casually a, good, a bunch of canes. <clears throat> I mean, it does take quite a bit of firepower against those things. 
This report comes from news broadcaster Emily Wong, who has been found alive and embedded in the Los Angeles resistance. Emily, a well-known and popular uh, news figure on the Citadel, was last reported as MIA after the Reapers destroyed El Monte Airport. However, rescue crews managed to free her from the wreckage of her van. From the wreckage of her van. This is her first broadcast on release from hospital and comes just before the successful attack on the processing facility. It's great to be back, folks, and I apologize for my extended absence. The fighting has been intense, but rescue crews and crews in mobile hospitals made up of non-combatants are everywhere, and they did a fine job helping to get me back in, on air. Resistance groups have appeared all over the place and are penetrating many cities using old underground networks and systems. Overall, morale is good, and news that the galaxy is finally rallying to meet the threat as hopes hide at rescue will eventually come. I'm currently embedded with a mixed force of Alliance troops, National Guard, and civilian volunteers, and we're waiting, awaiting orders to move out to, to, on our next target. I cannot provide details, but I am permitted to say that, say that we are giving the Reapers a hard time of things and are about to strike an important blow in the war effort. While Reaper capital ships are invulnerable to our attacks, their processing facilities and ground forces are susceptible to hit-and-run tactics, and the local defenders are getting better each day at striking these targets. We're about to set off. I will continue to report as opportunity allows, and wish everybody the best in this fight. I leave you with the words of one of these young soldiers eager to get to grips with the enemy. You know, when we were first hit, and we're we were the first hit and we're still fighting. Not only can we hold out a little longer, but tonight we give the Reapers their first taste of payback. Humanity isn't out of the fight yet. This is Emily Wong signing off from the front. Nice. News of this success has been broadcast to the rest of the Alliance forces, improving morale across the planet. Several sources report that overall resistance is making headway, and after the initial shock and high casualties of the initial attack, the Reapers advanced as slow as people began to get organized. So yeah, they're fighting back. Yeah, that's nice to know. An uh, update on indoctrination. Thessia, a Sari scientist, a Sari scientist, Rana Thanoptis, has died in custody, allegedly committing suicide after she was arrested for the murder of multiple Sari military officials. We know her. Uh... She was the one on Vermeer we let go, and then again on the mission where you got Grunt. Hmm. So she was indoctrinated the whole time. Uh, That's basically that all. That explain a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Urgent message from Admiral Hackett. Commander, there's an Alliance researcher working on a citadel named Dr. Garrett Bryson. I need you to meet with him right away. Dr. Bryson has uncovered important new information about Reapers that could have direct bearing on the war. I'm officially directing you to support his efforts at the first possible opportunity. Please visit Bryson's laboratory on the Citadel at once. That's DLC, and that is a problem for later. Fair enough. Alright, so where are we actually going? Well, let's take a look, and we can plan our next move for the next time. Yeah. So we have a, a few missions. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we have something over to Krogan DMZ. Of course, the thing is, we're going to have to go there anyway, because that's where Chuchunka is. Mm -hmm. There's uh, investigating the miss missing scouts for Rex. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is that? St uh, I don't know, actually. There's the Phoenix Project, if we really want to get messy with that. <coughs> it's an option. And then we could do Dr. Bryson's thing. Yeah, but because that's not the main quest, right? No, main quest... Actually, is set to where we have to do one of these two before it'll pop up now. Okay. We can still do both of them, right? Oh, yes, absolutely. Always okay. do both of them. Why would you never do both of them? I just wanted to make sure that the game led you. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think we should do? My guess started on Phoenix Project. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, boy. Alright, so next time. We'll dive into the Phoenix Project and hope to God I don't get my ass handed to me. Yay! What uh, could possibly go wrong besides everything? God help me. Goodbye. Bye.